Welcome back to my channel guys. So in today's video, I will be showing how to bypass MDM on this MacBook Pro 2019 16 inch with an Intel chip. We're gonna first wanna format the drive. I'm using a bootable USB drive with multiple Mac OS installers on it. I actually bought it from another shop owner that was selling them and let me tell you, it makes my life so much easier. On this Mac, we're gonna be reinstalling Mac OS in Sonoma. You're gonna wanna do a fresh wipe of the drive in Disk Utility before actually installing the software. If you have a MacBook with the M1 chip, the process is the same, but you have to either downgrade or install Mac OS Ventura as it doesn't work with Sonoma for Macs with the M1 chip. I'll be posting the script for that M1 models as well. In a previous video I uploaded, I also showed a bypass on a MacBook Pro, but the script stopped working shortly after posting the video. I had many people at the time commenting and sending messages saying that the script was not working. This script was from skipmdm.com, and it was down for quite some time. After a while, the site actually went live again with the working script. In this video, I will be showing an alternate method to skip MDM. It will be a working script from GitHub that a user uploaded for free. I will be posting the script and link in the bio. This computer is actually a friend of ours that was using it for school with the MDM bypass. We told him we wanted to make a video out of it and show the process again with the alternate script. He had information on it as well, so we thought it was a perfect opportunity to time machine an MDM bypass laptop and redo it again to see if the whole backup would restore, in which it did. After reinstalling the Mac OS, I set up the Mac again to show that the MDM is still there. The whole bypass method works as long as the Mac is not reset or updated. Doing either will kick back the MDM and you have to bypass it all over again. Knowing that an expensive computer can be used with such little restrictions is nice and makes the bypass worth it. If you guys want to know the easiest way to make a Mac OS bootable installer, you can use a program called Distro and it will make it for you. It's free, so you don't have to pay for it to use it. You also have to have a downloaded image of the installer, and in this case, it will be Sonoma. I will be putting a link to download the Sonoma image. Now, the next step would be to put the computer into recovery mode and access terminal. There, we will be running the script from GitHub. In this part, I manually input the script in which you have to be careful not to miss any letters or the command won't work. You can also choose the easier method, which is opening Safari from the recovery screen and going to the GitHub link and copying the script. As you can see, I took my time typing out the script. I should have just went with the easier method. When the command successfully executes, you will see a prompt that asks to pick option 1 or 2, and you have to pick option 1. Then it will help you create a name for the computer and a username and password. These will be used when the computer restarts, so make sure you put in something you will remember. Once that's done, you can restart the computer. If you noticed, I tried to do the time machine restore from recovery mode, but this method does not work. You have to use Migration Assistant when you set up the computer. After restarting the computer, you will set it up like a new Mac and you can use the Migration Assistant located in these steps to restore your time machine. After this is done, the Mac is ready to go. You can sign into your iCloud and use the Mac with almost no restrictions. Like I mentioned before, you cannot reset or update the Mac 
or the MDM will come back. You will not see any MDM messages in settings or any pop-ups. Even if it does come back, you can always bypass it again with unlimited use. So far I have done a couple of MacBooks and no issues so far. They will eventually start making new scripts for the updated versions of macOS, so be on the lookout. Well this concludes my video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or need help, just comment on the video. Enjoy this clip I made in NYC in 2020, I hope you guys like it.